Hello commanders and welcome in a new Conflict of Nations video. In today's video we are going to speak about how to start your game with Canada. In the previous commands and everything, I really noticed that a lot of Canadian players they are struggling to survive their first days in solo against the United States of America. After all, Canada have only 6 homeland cities and the United States have 10 homeland cities. And today I'm gonna show you how to beat the United States of America with a solid strategy. In the city of Halifax, a level 2 naval base. In the capital, a level, two, uh, level 1 and 2 air base. In Winnipeg, a uh, level 1 army base for the motorized infantry. Also in Calgary and in Vancouver, another naval base level 2. So we are going first of all to start with Corvettes. Corvettes, they are going to play a very, very important role in this battle. We can see that the United States of America is an active player, he is building his, uh, he finished building his army bases and started the recruiting offices. Uh, here I'm going to uh, make some uh, military logistics to send my recon division to the city of Vancouver. Because first of all we need to learn and study which windows the United States of America is going to use to attack us. Because 100% if you are not allied with the US, he, uh, he, you are going to be his first target. So first of all here, I'm going to make a sacrifice. I'm going to uh, keep my city of uh, Winnipeg empty to fortify my city of Toronto because like this, if I am going to keep my units scattered in all of the cities, I am going to be vulnerable. After all, United States have more units in the starting of the game and 100% I know that he is going to invade me and start sailing from his city of Chicago to go for my capital Montreal or um, to go for uh, Toronto. This is why I'm going to keep the city of Winnipeg empty and send my infantry there to the city of Toronto because if he comes there he will find some solid defenses and if we are lucky enough we can kill all of his units. Also, I'm going to keep the city of Calgary empty to fortify my defenses in Vancouver. I will build some arms industries here because I'm going to struggle a little bit with the fuel. The fuel is very low and also the uh, supplies. You can see in front of you that I do not have enough fuel to build the arms industries. This is why I'm going to uh, go to the market to buy some fuel. Our level 2 air base is under construction, the level 2 naval base is ready and I started mobilizing my first corvette there. The corvettes are a must have very early in the game, it's only day 2 and I started mobilizing my corvettes. It's very important and keep watching this video to understand how important is the corvettes in today's game. And as expected the United States launched his assault, he took down my city of Winnipeg, also 100% expected because we knew that he is going to sail from uh, his city of uh, San Luis to go there. Here I noticed something very dangerous happening in Hawaii. He is going for a level 3 naval base in Hawaii and also he is sailing from the city of Chicago to our city of Toronto. So putting our air superiority fighter in that uh, lake was a very smart idea because Actually, I really anticipated this and I expected that he will sail from there, from the city of Chicago, to go for my Toronto because that's the shortest way to go there. I have two corvettes in front of my city of Halifax. Now I am going to make a naval blockade on the United States of America with corvettes and I'm going to put one corvette in front of each city. First of all to bombard his cities and second of all to keep his units inside his homeland cities and he doesn't sail to come from behind. It's enough that he took down the city of Winnipeg, so now I need to defend my cities and later on I will try to recover the city of Winnipeg. It's not a big deal here. Let's have a look at the notifications. You see how the corvettes they are very important, he tried to sail to take down our cities of Halifax and also Vancouver and actually our uh, corvettes they saved us from this assault and they sunk down his infantry in the middle of the sea. This is their coalition, it's composed of Mexico, United States of America, Cuba, Australia and Colombia. So actually when you think about this that you are going against a full coalition like this, it's an impossible mission, it's an impossible task. But 
we are going to make it happen in this today's uh, video as this video is 100% a tutorial how to defend Canada how to start your game with Canada and how to beat down an active player with the United States of America we are going to take his city of Portland he only have one motorized infantry there now we are defending fiercely our city of Toronto I'm going to send my third artillery and my uh, infantry to his city of Chicago after all I have the advantage of the attack of the ranged attack with my um, third artillery this recon is going to kill this one motorized infantry and later on I'm going to send it to recover the city of Winnipeg yeah, that's its goal, its task is to recover our fallen city of fuel city because you know in the resources panel that uh, our uh, fuel production is already in uh, red in minus so it's dangerous to keep it like that I need to recover my city ASAP he still have his uh, thought artilleries in his capital uh, Washington so I'm gonna need more than one corvette to kill that uh, thought artillery I'm going to naval blockade the city of Chicago and uh, park one corvette in front of that city to prevent her from sending more infantries there his city of New York is under the bombardment of our uh, corvette and you can see that our corvette is attacking one infantry his city of Portland has fallen and um, our corvettes they are on their way to uh, the city of Hawaii his level 3 naval base is ready it's very bad I need to bombard it before he uh, starts making um, destroyers that's bad I will advance now to his next homeland city which is going to be San Francisco with this recon division composed of five motorized infantry and one recon Hawaii is under our attack finally luckily he didn't make it to make uh, a destroyer before we arrive with our corvette so yeah that's a good one also I'm sailing to his city of Anchorage because he have a level 2 naval base there so the most important thing when playing against the United States of America is to destroy all of his naval bases it's very important because if the United States starts making ships destroyers or cruisers or anything you are doomed you are finished our city of Winnipeg is recovered finally and now his city of Chicago is going to fall our third artilleries did the work, did the necessary work. Now I'm going to send one infantry to take Chicago and continue with my third artillery. We to his city of San Luis. Our Corvette killed that one motorized infantry in the city of New York. Still his uh, third uh, artillery division in uh, his capital, Washington. So uh, we did the big step here. We took down all of his attacking forces. We defended our homeland cities successfully and now it's the time for the counter-attack now it's the time to colonize and take down and the invasion of the united states of america this is how you play defensive in the beginning take down all of their forces and later on you start launching your attack this is a very good strategy here very efficient against the united states of america whenever i play with canada i do this one it's actually uh, well proven and uh, very good now i'm going to start the, the research of the frigate of course now we need to start uh, upgrading our navies we are not going to stay forever with the uh, corvettes bad news guys his allies have uh, answered to the call mexico has declared war on us so here I have to deal with the United States of America and also I have to deal with Mexico. I'm not going to stop here. I will send all of my forces to the homeland cities of Mexico. We are at the end of uh, this tutorial. It's a one-time video, guys. I hope you liked the strategy of Canada against the United States of America. But if you want to see how we are going to take uh, down Mexico, tell me in the comment section. If you want another episode to see how we go we are going to take down his ally Mexico or not. Or maybe we can start our new series after the vote is finished. I will wait uh, for your comments boys to see what I can do. See you guys and bye bye.